as you know, at the show here, there's a lot of talk uh, about how operators ca can increase their revenues in, in these economic circumstances. One of the things that has been uh, tipped for a while now has been TV. Now, um, if you look at our February issue on Mobile Europe, we've got a great article with this man here. This is Nicolas Schuka um, from NDS, who's telling us a little bit in that article about how mobile operators can uh, build a business model for mobile TV. Um, one of the things he talks about there is the multi-platform approach um, and uh, offering multiple services to users from, from a single platform. Here we're going to look at um, a demo of, of the Snowflake UI, which is, uh, what is that? Tell us what that is. Well, basically it's a triple screen user interface that uh, can be displayed either uh, on a TV set uh, or on a PC or on a mobile phone. And uh, the user experience uh, that uh, will be provided to the subscriber uh, will be seamless, same branding for each screen. Um, and uh, easy navigation tool. So that's basically what uh, any consumer of video or content is expecting. So uh, w whether I'm on mobile or my PC or my TV, it's going to look the same. I'm going to be able to control it the same. Because you have to understand that uh, people may say, well, obviously, uh, that's obvious that we need some similar user interface uh, wherever we, um, whatever screens we are, we are targeting. Uh, the thing is, if you use a mobile phone, you will easily understand that uh, you mainly have uh, four buttons, up, down, left, right, OK, and menu. A remote control could have 60 buttons, and a PC, uh, you know how many uh, touch you have on a PC. So it's not just uh, uh, the uh, user interface branding that is important. It's also the ergonomic model should be called, uh, and the functionality should be called, by a limited number of buttons that you will always find either on a remote control, on a PC, or on a phone. And that's where I would say the magic of the product comes from. So we're gonna keep on the TV screen since uh, it's a bit larger and very easy, but basically uh, you will notice that we have exactly the same user interface running on the, on the mobile phone here. So basically here, when, whenever you turn the TV on, the first things you get is the last uh, channels you were watching uh, when you turned off uh, uh, on the last session. Information is about the current program. is being displayed immediately uh, on the screen. From that, we all know that 80% uh, of uh, viewers are looking after information that are going to be next or tonight. So what we did is from left to right, this is a timeline of the content. So if you go to the right, you will get information about content that is coming next. And if you go to the left, it could be the past, okay? And if you go up and down, it's about channel uh, lineup. So you will go to the upper channel each time you go up and vice versa when you go down. So very quickly, if I go up, I keep the live and I get the information data about what's going on on the other channel. If I go up again, I get the information about the channels above. So let's go back to the previous channel we were on, which is Star Wars. Now, if I make, so if I touch the right button here, it tells me what's coming next on this channel. So of course, if I want to know what's coming next on the other channels above or below, I just have to go up. It tells me what's next on this channel, etc. So you see, it's like you, as if you were navigating through um, a giant grid, like a matrix. It's like an uh, electronic service grid, but you focus on one uh, cell and you can go from one cell to another. So um, and what strikes me is that when you had your mobile, you, you got those four buttons or you got maybe a, a keypad or a joystick in the middle, you're still up, down, left, right, and that is the same. And we can demo it from here. If I go up, it tells me what's going on on the other channel. If I go right, it tells me what's coming next. And you can see that it's very sim simple to read, which is basically what you're trying to target on a mobile phone. It's how can you make the information readable uh, for the subscriber. So just to conclude on the, on the timeline, and then we'll be gone. If I go right again, it tells me what's going on tonight. And if I go up, what's going on tonight on the other channel. So always the same logic. And then we decided to, if you go in the future, you can have access to VOD services. 
provided by the channel. So if I make a right again, you have a you may like VOD service, okay? So if you click OK, you're going to be able to buy it. And if I, if I go on the right again, all the on-demand services provided by this channel. And as I explained, if I go up on this line, it gives me all the VOD services offered by the other channels. So as a result, I would say without even watching my remote control and still watching the live, because don't forget, if on other user interface you're trying to have access to uh, information about other programs or information about a VOD catalog, you will have to escape from the live most of the time. Here you keep watching the live, you can get information about your eight or 10 preferred channel for tonight or next uh, program in 15 seconds. And you can even have access to a certain number of VOD services that you can buy automatically uh, very sim with a simple interaction on the, uh, on the hardware device. So that comes back to what you were saying. How can we increase revenues for operators? It's by giving access to pay content services very easily uh, without getting a headache uh, to find it. So we've had a look at the uh, UI experience there, and now I guess we're moving uh, a few thousand miles east to Singapore, where NDS is working with Alcatel Lucent on the first public deployment of uh, DVBH OMA BCAR smart card profile. Nicola, did I get all that right? Yes, absolutely. Yes, we were selected uh, with uh, Alcatel Lucent as system integrator. Jamalto for the SIM uh, provider, uh, and Samsung was providing the handset. NDS, of course, the conditional access system, DRM uh, system. And that's the first commercial trial uh, launched based on DVBH, OMA Bika smart card profile uh, in the world. So we are very proud that uh, we had a chance to be selected by um, uh, M1 and Singtel together uh, in Singapore to perform that trial which has been addressed to um, more than 500 uh, total uh, users right now uh, all over Singapore. So Nicholas has shown us the, the unified user experience. We've seen the way a subscriber can uh, get subscribed to a new TV channel on a DVBH device. And now we're going to look at how uh, operators or service providers can manage uh, the multi-platform uh, streaming of content to users and their rights. And uh, this is a little demo that Nicholas just got for us here then. Okay, so to summarize in a nutshell here, we are showing our user um, interface for our unified head-end uh, solution. Here you have the backend for the operators, and here you have different devices that are receiving uh, content. Basically, operators that are targeting mobile phones, uh, set-top box, PCs, um, will have to handle several encryption technologies. And most of the time, when they will bundle their content offering, they will have to do it as many times as they have uh, networks uh, to, uh, to target. With the unified head-end, what we propose is that basically they can develop domain activities per subscriber, saying that uh, we have a subscriber that has uh, different mobile phones, uh, a PC, a set-top box, and he subscribes to our uh, content offering. And our unified then will be able, will uh, entitle the operators to develop one content offering and uh, target different device with only one rights management system. And that's a kind of revolution for them since uh, that will allow them to do content bundling offering, uh, marketing, uh, uh, promotional uh, campaign that they were not able to do before because they couldn't target all the networks together with one rights management. Brilliant. So that's the UI, that's the content access, that's the unified head-end from NDS. Nicola, thank you very much.